Hello, family. Hoping that you're doing wonderful. <laughs> Welcome to Illuminate the Oracle. Um, yeah, I want to see uh, what's going on in this uh, full moon. Let's do a full moon reading. Um, it's interesting to me. Um, as I was trying to get my meditation on before this reading, uh, uh, the song Emotions kept crashing into my meditation. And the part of the song that kept looping um, was the hook. Um, In the words of a broken heart, it's just emotions taking me over, caught up in sorrow. No, no, maybe it's not the hook. That's not it. What was it? Um... I can't even think now, now that I'm actually on camera talking, what part of the song just kept looping over into my head. Um, oh. Where are you now? Now that I need you. Tears on my pillow. Wherever you go. I cry me a river. That leads to your ocean. You'll never see me fall apart. So it wasn't the hook. It was like that pre-chorus that kept looping around in my head over and over again. Where are you now now that I need you? Words of my pillow. Tears of my pillow. Uh, you'll never see me fall apart. I feel like you got somebody <laughs> all up in their emotions. I feel like this is an energy that has passed you by. But whomever, it's like whomever was unwilling to reveal their emotions is the ones that's left with the bag. It's how I'm hearing it. Left in, you know, left in, yeah, left in heavy regret, but ha left feeling like they're, they're stuck with all these emotions they're stuck with all this confusion while wow. i think because the part of wherever you go so it's like someone feeling like you're moving forward and that's what's leaving them with the bag that's what's leaving them with um the emotions that i feel like at one point you may have been stuck with who knows um but i want to start with moon energy and we'll just see if some things come to pass but we'll start with the moon deck since it is the full moon reading um excuse all right and it's been a little bit since i did the moonology cards so we'll see what spirit has for us for this reading um father god mother divine Archangel Michael, please cover me in my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration, messages that you deem for us to receive today. Any ill intent, evil eye energy sent our way is immediately blocked. Return that energy back to his rightful owner. Bind them in that energy so they can never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, I feel like whatever that song was, whatever that channeling was, I feel like this is, that person is willing to admit that they're finally like in the state of being heartbroken. Like I'm feeling like maybe there's something about the situation maybe that made you feel a little bit more heart. Uh, maybe there's something about the situation that left you in the state of heartbrokenness first. But it's like that part of the song is wherever you go. So it's like you've moved past something. Wherever you go, I'll cry me a river. Okay. Okay, boy. <laughs> let's just see what the gods say. Okay, let let me not, you know. Let's just see. Spirit, heavenly spirit, please let my collective know what's in the energy for this full moon. This coming full moon. It's like blue something. It's um. Is it like a? 
Blue Moon. It's something that happens very rarely. Um, if y'all know, let me know in the comments. I forget that I can ask y'all, and y'all can put it down in the comments and let us all know, let the community know uh, what kind of full moon that we got going. Because uh, I'm, I'm definitely not an astrologist, you know, just uh, I just read energies, child. <laughs> But spirit, what does the collective need to know about this full moon energy? What does the collective need to know? Um, what does collective need to know? What does my collective, my beautiful, handsome, fabulous, inspiring collective need to know about this full moon energy? All right, let's do it. Starting to feel like Bueller. No, not Bueller. His teacher. Anyone? Anyone? I feel, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Anyone? Anyone? There we go. I love it. Nothing is yet set in stone. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. So, um,. Gosh, do I want to think of the mutable signs? What are the mutable signs? Um, Gemini could be significant. Sagittarius could be significant. I'm going to get them wrong. Um, Taurus could be significant. Oh, goodness. Anywho, <laughs> y'all can look those up, but... Mutable signs could be significant, um, but nothing yet is set in stone. So two popped out. But a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. You know, Aries is that energy of taking a leap. So I feel like something there's something about here that um, like new era, new chapters, new leaps, new opportunities. Um, ah, okay. And a personal, what it says, a personal issue reaches resolution. A personal issue reaches resolution. And this is full moon in cancer, so cancer could be significant. Get okay, one more moonology card. One more moonology card. And I want to hear from the fairies today, too. Ooh! Oh. Please hold. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let me just get a sip of water. Hold on. If this was a commercial break. I considered it here because the anticipation, man. Y'all won't believe what popped out and flew all the way over there. Nearly shook up the entire table. Hold on. So this is the card that popped out. Believe in the impossible. And guess what moon this is? Blue moon. <laughs> I did see blue moon in my mind's eye when I was talking, when I was fumbling around trying to figure out what moon, what full moon we're in, and I knew it was something that, that was blue, and then I instantly thought of um, blue moon. You caught me standing alone without a beat in my heart, without a love of my own. And there we got blue moon. You know, I know there's something blue with this moon. <laughs> Again, y'all let me know in the comments if you know. But how kiss me? It's, spirit definitely wants you to know. Whatever preconceived notions you may have about certain situations, nothing is set in stone. And to believe in the impossible. Because something very passionate is approaching with this fiery climax here. And a personal issue 
is reaching a conclusion. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's grab a few fair bears, aka fairy cards. Real quick, I probably just do a couple of these. Um, I feel like there's like a couple of cards in my head for some reason, a couple of decks in my head for some reason. So I'm gonna try my best to fit them all in a reasonable time, in a reasonable manner, and we'll just see. You know, I'm not trying to give like a whole, you know, TED talk over here. I'm not trying to, you know, be here for hours. Y'all got things to do. I don't want to take up too much of y'all time. But yeah, I know I could talk. So we'll just keep this like a freight train plowing through. Spirit, fairies, what does my collective need to know? What's the energy for this cool moon energy? Journey. This says, it's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, Make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. A lot of connections here already. So another card that popped out is motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. What is this, y'all? Because, <laughs> baby, I'm going to be a motivation. <laughs> What's this thing that you're holding on to? What's the thing that you're thinking about? You know, the beautiful thing about this motivation card is how festive it is. I think we also, I think we often, excuse me, become so daunted about the task, become so daunted about the things that we envision because it makes us nervous. And I think we automatically kind of paint this whole like dread around it because maybe we're not quite sure of how to go about it. But the beautiful thing about this motivation card, it is not this shaming card about, you know, motivate yourself, get to work, bitch. <laughs> Shout out to, you know, uh, Britney Spears. Get to work, bitch. Or, uh, or Kim K, right? When she was telling people to, to get to work. This card isn't coming from that energy with this pink here so lovingly and, and soft. And if, let's try to pull a little bit closer. Does she look like she's daunted or stressed out about like this motivation concept? She looks like, she. first of all, she's a little girl, a little fairy, but I really feel like this is just an inner child. This is just a symbolism of inner child. So it's like, don't, to kill the inspiration and to kill that energy of um, truly creating is to make it sterile and unfun <laughs> and stressful and daunting and, you know, all the little vibrational energy, fearful, you know, all the little vibrational energy that you can think of. Yeah, that's going to make motivating yourself the worst so how can you make it fun for yourself how can you make it pleasurable for yourself how can you make it more of an exploration rather than something that you feel i don't know a stress about it's something about like timing like time like are you afraid of taking your time are you afraid or you feel like you have some sort of strict timeline here because look at her <laughs> She's very festive. She's very enthused. She's very, it's like, if she's going to get motivated, this energy right here, then it has to be her way. It has to be her vibe. It has to be her style. It has to be her songs. It has to be the, her look. It has to be her aesthetic. It has to be, it just has to be what she wants it to be. She sets the tone. She sets the mood. And she gets shit done by making it colorful first, making it beautiful first, by making it exciting, by making it something that is her first and look at how easy it is for her just to just to get to action because it's in the action of her 
vibe. It's it's the way that she wants to do it. And that's the way that you have to think of this when it comes to plotting, planning, and taking action. It's like you're not taking action in any other way that anyone else does it. You do it the way you do it. Do it the way you do it. You know, do it the way you want to do it. That you can imagine it. Like I just uh there's so much joy. Um in the way this fairy shows motivation and shows um, action. So, hmm. It's giving me this energy of like whatever's coming ahead, spirit is wanting you not to be in your head about it. Whatever's coming ahead, spirit doesn't want you to be in your head about it. <laughs> right. um, so be weary of that. Be weary that you're not playing yourself. Um, when it comes to preconceived expectations about things, too, I feel like. Okay. Because, once again, we have that inner child card where, you know, generally, we didn't really have the forethought or foresight as children to have preconceived expectations to have preconceived expectations. we It was just easy for us to go with the flow of what we see, what we feel, what we sense in the moment. And uh, that's a big part of what spirit <laughs> wants you to be in in this moment because magical blessings. It says, whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. These fairies say, you can bless others too. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite cards. Um, because it reminds us the power that we have, not just the power that surrounds us and that's around us, not just the power that um, illuminates us and, and helps to guide our way and heals us, but it's also that, that reminder that of how much power we have over others, right? Example. Um, when I was having my little break from jumping online, um, and once again, I'm just always appreciative of the love you guys show me when I return, um, whenever I return, that's a little bit of my energy <laughs> to be fair, but I, I'm working on that. But the thing that really brought me back to film was a comment that someone left on an older video. And it was like, such a simple comment it but it was just it, it was impactful to me it was something like you know i love your reading i can't wait for the next reading um i think this person definitely probably knows who they are i feel like yeah you definitely probably know who you are and it was like the video before the video that i came back with um because it was an older video, but it was a newer comment, and it was something like, I can't wait for your next video. And, you know, for a Scorpio, <laughs> that's, like, the right amount of shaming. Like, it's not, it's shaming without shaming nobody. <laughs> Almost like with this motivation. It's like, it's, you know, it's motivated. It's, it's, there's a shame without shame, because it's not saying, where you been? Why are you not getting to work? It's saying, I can't wait for your next video. <laughs> So it's like I can't help but feel, I couldn't help but feel a little bit of like ooh <laughs> I should probably put out another video, um, but it's just like little things like that that really come from love. It really comes from care. It really comes from um, just checking in. Um, you'd be surprised just how simple a check in can be that could just really impact someone's day. Um, and that's those little bitty ways that we show up as the angels that we are, as the earth angels that we are, whether we know it or not. It's like those little things that we don't even think about. Um, and it's interesting. I think for me personally, it's very easy for me to kind of just, I don't know. I'm definitely awakening to my shaman energy more and more every day. And so I, I've realized that it's always been comfortable for me to be alone. It's always been comfortable since I was a child. It's always been comfortable for me to be in my own energy. But I, I underestimate the power of, you know, people that still tap in 
and, and reach out just to check in. Um, maybe there's something, some people that you need to tap in and check in with just to ask like, Hey, how you doing? I was thinking about you today. You know, I, even me personally, I underestimate the power and impact that that has because sometimes a lot of us can get real deep, deep, deep in, um, whatever we're in, in our lives. Um, and just those little bitty pieces of, of a connection really makes all the difference. And, um, I say this to say that, like, there are ways that you can share your blessings by how you speak about people, what you, you know, wish upon people and your prayers to people, adding people to your prayers, you know, um, you know, sending just good vibes to people like you get that back. Like, there's nothing that is taken from you. It it, it just it, it, it increases the good vibes, child. <laughs> And you just never know what people need, you know, that they're not saying. Um, and so, yeah, there is this kind of community vibe here, but it's not necessarily with like, you know, just any and everything is like like minds, connected energy. Um, it's almost like whenever you're seeing somebody in passing, sometimes you get nervous to say something. Maybe you, sometimes you get nervous to be like, oh, those shoes are so cute. Oh, I love those, those shoes are dope or that dress is so cute or... You know, sometimes you really get that urge to say something. And when the moment passes you by, you almost go like, oh, man, I should have. That's just kind of an example of, you know, your own spiritual team and your own intuition saying, hey, this is the time. Let them know about that. Let them know so they can feel good for the rest of the day. You know, giving that energy, giving that light off to people um, in those ways um, or holding elevators or whatnot, you know, this simple things that you can do for other people that um, leaves them off <laughs> with a good vibe. Like years ago when I was working retail, I worked all types of retail. But I always are very conscious of the flip side of that. You know, people who kind of bum rush in and like treat customer, uh, customer service reps like crap and they kind of put this dark energy because of just how um, particular they would be with their disrespect. <laughs> and it really came from a place of people trying to get self associates to pop off so they can get fired or whatnot so they can feel better about themselves type vibe. Like it was that insidious and that extreme a lot of times I would witness. And it would never worked on me. Uh, because I always, my Midwest training, I always fed it with sweetness. I always fed it with a little bit of an indifference, but a sweetness. You know, I matched the shittiness with sweetness and it just, it couldn't help, the energy couldn't help but turn sweet again. And every single time those customers would turn back to me and say, oh, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just, I was just having a bad day. I just, it was just blah, 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 blah. And they would end up apologizing to me by the end of the interaction because of what I was feeding them. If I was feeding them the match, if I was matching their energy, they wouldn't have gave up. They wouldn't, they wouldn't have cared. They would have, you know, probably fought me in any way they could. But because I gave them an opposite energy, it forced them to really contend with what they were putting out. Um, and so, yeah, I just say that to say, like, I feel like there's so many different ways that we can be handing off and passing off light and how that, you know, reverberates, that continually, like, flows throughout. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not sure why I went on tangent with that. I do, because the the um, the magical blessings, the fairies just have me going on a on a spiral of conversation. Spirit, what else do you have to tell my collective for this in this full moon energy? What else my collective needs to know? Ooh. In this full moon energy. Friendship. So we're seeing three again. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now's the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Okay, so maybe that was the reason why I was going on a tangent <laughs> about connections. And like, yeah, something is very significant here now about putting yourself back out there and, you know, vibrating with connections that really like match who you are right now. 
match your the interest that you have right now match the person that you are right now and you're gonna find that this is all in purple so it's really going to come to you naturally. You're going to be very intuitively um, moved to these new connections that are coming in. And these connections that are coming in are specifically going to be supporting you to, to with these, these ideas, these dreams, these visions that you have. You know, and that's not to say that you need to be, you know, sharing all your visions with people. But I feel like there's something very like minded or like interests with these individuals. So it's like, I'm not sure if you meet them through like similar, like if you're in like classes together with them, similar interest of some kind that I feel like could be connected to your dreams or things that you're interested in making or creating that they either have like a knowledge of or a similar interest or something that kind of binds the connection. But with this purple here, it lets me know these are this is good company. Whomever these new people that are coming in for you are, you know, they're very nourishing. Um, but I feel like you're you're in that place now where it's like whatever was left behind. It's like um, I feel like you're strong enough now to just uh, see what's happening, see what's going on, and see what matches your vibration as it stands today yeah that matches your transformation as it stands today transformation it says the fairies tell you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good embrace your transformation the best is yet to come look at that okay and I do feel like abundance is here. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks that you may have. In fairyland, human land, in fairyland and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. Okay? So I think you need to release your ideas of like, ooh, it's probably a good day for some money manifestation um, for this full moon energy. I do feel like something's coming your way. But there could be some doubt about how things are going to come in, how things can come in, whether something's going to come through. But those are things that you need to push. You need to work those things out. <laughs> to purge those things out. I'm going to wash this doubt right out of my hair. I'm going to wash this doubt right out of my hair. Just wash it out because um, you don't want to block your manifestations. Um, and fear and doubt is a low vibrational energy. You can't manifest with that unless you want to manifest a, you know, a Frankenstein or something crazy. Okay. So, all right. I'm feeling real, like, happy about this reading. <laughs> so that's really good. Sometimes you can feel a little drained getting to a reading. And that kind of tells the tale of, you know, the reading. Um, but this feels very, like, peppy. Um, let's do Kipper. I'm not doing horrible. I fit in three decks already. I'm not doing horrible. <laughs> okay. Um, gonna wash that fear right out of my hair. Gonna wash that fear right out of my hair. It's funny, that song. I was at my first job, my day job. Um, and I was outside. It's been a beautiful day here like a little bit of a fall preview for today and then it's back to a little bit of um, end of summer temps but for some reason i started singing gonna wash this man out of my hair and i was like where did that song come from the 60s i don't even know where that song came from but you know i'm a time traveler so those all type songs from all different type of genres just popped in my head any given time um so let's see with the Kipper deck. What does my collector need to know um, for this full moon energy? What's coming their way for this full moon energy for my collective? What does my collector need to know? What does my collector need to know in this full moon energy day? What's coming toward my collective in this full moon energy? What's coming through? Everything is just wanting to like... Oh, I love to lie 
baby. Oh. Unexpected income. 27 can be significant. But yeah, so that's two confirmations. Unexpected income and abundance happening here. Um, I ain't mad at it, y'all. That's why, you know, don't doubt what's coming to you. Do whatever you can to bring it further to you. You know, don't scare it away. Don't keep it at bay. Work it on into you. Um, so, yeah, that's further confirmation that, you know, if you got some kind of money rituals or kind of, you could do as simple as like lighting a candle, child. It's about your intentions. It don't really. Everybody can have their own way of doing things. But I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> It's always your intentions that mean the most. That's why I'm telling you to be sure that your energies are right and that you're not doubting yourself. You're not doubting your own personal magic. Um, because, you know, people can tell you, you need to have a green candle. You need to have this. You need to have best believe I'm going to have the candle that I see before me. <laughs> and I'm going to in inject that energy for that specifically that I, that I call for it to have. So I specifically call for any color to be money. It's going to be money for me. You know, so it don't matter the tools that you have. It matters the intention that you have. So, you know, a simple ass candle, um, writing down maybe some what you kind of envision um, for yourself. You can kind of repeat those things like simple, really lines, simple lines of financial, the financial that you expect that you call in for yourself. Um, shoot, find some a song or two that deals with money coming in. You know, there's some good rap songs like that. There's all types of kind of songs it's just like money, 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 bring it all to me type vibes and just dance around the living room. That's a manifestation right there, you know. Um, and once you finish blowing the candle out and putting it next to the window where the full moon ideally would be, that works. Um, but I mean, like, keeping it simple. It's always about the intention, um, whatever it is that you do. But I think, yo, there's something to that. What else does my collective need to know? What's coming to them? What else does my collective need to know? What's coming their way? Ooh, Occupation, 34. So it's definitely something that you... Uh, journey again, 10. So journey <laughs> is very significant. Um, oh, look at here. So poverty is here at the bottom of the deck, upside down. So I feel like definitely in the past, if there were concerns about money... I'm hearing you have to be concerned about that very soon. I don't know what very soon is, but it's something that's something I feel like for a lot of you guys is something that you're working on. I feel like it'd be either way. I feel like it could be either something that you're working on or just something unexpected because it's next to unexpected income. Um, Maybe you are like really focused on like, I don't know, maybe you're just working on ways to stay motivated as you work through, as you're working through something, as you're getting through work, um, getting through your day to day. But it's something about this journey, like you're going to, it's something about going, it's something about going on a journey that leads you to this income. We got two cars with journey on it. <laughs> So travel, I feel like travel is going to be very significant for you in the future. Rather, it's a move. Rather, it's a vacation. <laughs> and you, I, don't, and you, I don't know, meeting an opportunity and a layover type child. Like I, it could be anything, whether it's like a permanent move or a vacation or... Or if it's just a... Con for some of you, you could be changing up your occupation or getting uh, an opportunity 
that may lead to travel or may involve traveling. Um, but it's like either way, me seeing Journey here two times is going to be so it's just so significant because it's like there could be there's definitely this energy of a physical journey, but there's also this energy of a, um, a spiritual uh, journey that you're going to be embarking on. That's even that's 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 an even higher level than you could have imagined. It's like it's the next go. It's the next level. Um, you know, and one of these journey cards has the ten on it, which is the endings to, which means endings to begin, endings to new beginnings. Um, and this journey card has a rabbit on it, um, which is very lucky. Um, rabbits also kind of signify birth, um, creation. Um, definitely good luck in creating and creation. Um, that could signify new birth for, for some of you. Um, and that could be the, the journey. But yeah, packing your passport. One card says packing your passport. Another card literally has a train station on it. So traveling is going to be very significant um, in the upcoming future. Um Anything else? A couple more messages. Anything else from my collective that they need to know about for this upcoming full moon in it up with for that full moon energy. Okay. Courtship. The four. So someone who may have been a friend or may be a friend is because yeah is is looking to court looking to have a courtship with you friendship so this person could be a friend to you now or they could have been a friend but you're all up in their thoughts you're all up in their head they could be artistic of some kind um they could draw sketch they could be musical or create things with their hands, or I just feel a, a creativity here with this person. Um, 16 could be significant. <clears throat> we got mature woman, and we got lovers. We got child, and we got a gift. Um, you got a house. A, there could, a gift could be a house. Um, I am seeing someone kind of standing in the way between. Okay, so this is how I kind of see it. So we had these the thoughts card here, and then we had mature woman here with the lovers. And then we have child gift house bad health message of concern the way i kind of felt it i kind of feel like you know this person is in their thoughts about whom this person that they're in love with who they know is their soulmate this is this lover's card. They're statues. So this is a lover's energy that um, is high level soulmate energy, possibly twin flame energy, because I mean these these people are statues. So that signifies that these this is a connection that has endured lifetimes. This is a love that is ancient. It's an ancient love connection, which means these counterparts meet up and connect every lifetime. There's a more true woman in the middle though. That's standing in between a per this person's thoughts and this lover. 
and the lovers. Okay. Um, this mature woman could be um, it could be you. It could be this person's mother. It could be a wife figure. Um, this mature woman but her card is placed right in between this this man's thoughts and the lovers but i feel like there's something about this energy with this child card there's something about this energy of course it could signify uh, an actual child but the way that she's looking up is something about this connection that that really makes this person in awe <laughs> they're in awe you know, they're in awe when they think about you, when they're in their thoughts thinking about you. They're in awe. Um, there's something about here about childhood healing, too. There's something about you just tap dance on probably the childhood issues that they've ignored healing. But it's like in so many ways, your energy is the healing or was the healing or can be the healing for this person that um, that's what makes you a gift to this person. And that's why they really look at you in this very beamingly kind of way of just like glowing eyes with glowing eyes because you are their gift. Um, with this house card, I feel like wherever they are right now in this house card, it's, it's causing them bad health. It's just like a really toxic energy for them. Um, or it's just something that's really belittling their esteem, their self-esteem, their situation that they're in. I feel like they want to they wanna communicate this. They want to communicate this with this message of concern. They're probably wondering if, I feel like this person is wondering if you're going to be just left to their illusion, left to their dreams, left to their visions of the last they've seen you. But they do see you as very official. But I feel like this person, they feel like they need to present themselves as an official person. I feel like something about trust, you know, maybe trust have been kind of like lost in some way during the process of this connection. Maybe during the process of what they've allowed to enter in the connection, because I do see an energy in the middle here. Um, let's end off with OG cards. Um, let's see. Let's actually, real quick. <laughs> Let's just do a couple of tarot. And this moon energy to see. What do I want to see? But yeah, something is coming in. Let's what is oh, let's get it fair. Let's see. Clarify this unexpected income. What's this unexpected income? Wait. How do you want this spirit? Okay. So I feel like it's something that you're going to be leaving the past on. Maybe it could be your current situation. Um, your current situation is going to end up being the past for you. For some of you guys, you really could be like moving and, and traveling somewhere. That's going to be very fruitful for you. It's going to be like an unexpected income, perhaps with the change of location. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck to confirm. So there could be something that's either at a distance or.
I feel like something's at a distance. I feel like somebody's gonna. <laughs> I feel like. Oh, wow. Something could definitely involve you speaking your mind moving forward, too. Um. But messages are coming in here about um, a chapter coming to a close. Yeah, the world card and the death card. And as it pertains to a family dynamic, it's something that has been a wish fulfillment. It's taken someone a lot of strength to get the right balance here. They had something, whatever they were juggling, was causing them a lot of stress. Yeah, because they were bound. You got the devil energy in the reverse, though. Oh, for the lovers. Okay. Um, I just wanted to kind of see a little bit there what's going on there so whatever this money or this income is coming from it could be somebody for some of y'all somebody could be trying to move y'all i do kind of get that vibe a little bit of somebody like trying to move y'all i don't know somebody's like i miss you i need you right here next to me i don't know if y'all at a distance from somebody but i feel like it's something that's going to be a boost to you in a multitude of ways in some ways that you don't even expect. I'm saying, I'm, I'm feeling like Spirit wants you to contemplate fairly, um, but to take a leap, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's feeling like take a leap energy. Um, we get, literally got the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, I feel like it's going to be in your favor. Let's see. Um, They know you are a visionary, the prize. Someone wants to shed light. I didn't even shuffle these yet, but I picked up the deck and that was the card that didn't want to go with the other card. So um, let's see. Last messages in this full moon energy for my collective. Last messages in this full moon energy for my collective. Um. I want to do this. Um, yeah. Confirmation endings and beginnings are happening, babies. It's here. I kind of feel like whispers of love is calling to me. Okay, spirit. All right. Whispers of love. I haven't done these in a while. So let's see in the energy. Whoever's connected to my collective's energy, what do they want to say to my collective in this full moon energy? Whoever's connected to my collective, what do they want to say to my collective in this full moon energy? Okay. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives including your own. So we already talked about this idea of influence over people and the things that you can say and impart people with that leave them feeling all good and giddy inside. Um, that practice is going to be important because it's going to be per important practice for this person that you love, this person that you're connected to, this person that loves you so much, and this person that you love so much. It's inevitable. This is like almost like friend. This is further friendship energy. The way they are huddled up and, and sharing something with each other. It's further confirmation of this friendship energy. This. Tell me again, can we be lovers and friends? Tell me over and over and over again. Ask for help. It says. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. Somebody, they want to they come through. 
to assist you. They want to support you. They want to speak this. They want to speak to you softly in, in this language of love. They want to show you a side of themselves that they have not been able to show you up until this point. I'm seeing a lot of death energy, which means it's endings and new beginnings. But that death energy, aka scorpionic energy, can also speak of um, resurrection. Um, it could speak of yeah, or just all new, all new. So it's, it makes me feel like someone has gone through a transformation. It's gone through a serious transformation. So it just makes me feel like be cautious about being in past energy or, or allowing yourself to kind of speak from past energy. That doesn't mean that you can't address the things that have been, that have occurred. That just means that when it comes to your emotions and your rationale, don't think of it from a past energy. In the same way that you do with yourself, you know, you don't want to make decisions for yourself with your with the way you thought about in the past. You want to you want to um, use the way you think about things today to advise your decision making. Because if you kind of use that angsty kind of low vibrary, low vibrational, low or maybe lower self esteem energy of the past to dictate your actions of today, then you know that could leave you astray. I don't know why I'm rhyming so much today. Um, but this person wants to be of assistance to you. They want to show that this that they can be your safe harbor. I'm hearing. They want to demonstrate love to you. That's what they dream about. That's all they envision. They envision a home, a house. What else does my collector need to know to end off this energy, to end off this reading? And this full moon energy. Take a chance on love. And this card is yet another synchronicity and connection to this idea of traveling. I feel like this whole idea of traveling, you're going with someone else. You're going with someone. There's someone else in that boat. Somebody wants to go on a journey with you. So maybe seeing journey two times in this reading, that could even signify two people going on a journey. And taking a chance on love. This card says, when we love, our lives are changed forever. Woo! Uh, bottom of the deck, the heart of the matter. There is more going on that meets the eye. There is more going on that meets the eye. <laughs> That's the heart of the matter. We can't know what we don't know. You know? Yeah. Take care of yourselves. If you like my vibe, please like and subscribe. Until next time.